Hey Poodles, Richard Ryder here with This Week on Out TV. Well, we kicked this week off on Monday, as God intended, with a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. And this week, the Queen's Hamlet it up in two twisted Shakespearean classics, all for judges Pat Dennings from Two Broke Girls and Mel B from The Spice Girls. Or as I like to call both of them, the Boob Babes. Seriously, I don't know how they even see their feet. I don't know what to tell you, ladies. This is not good. I'm sorry, I need to relax. Cut. It's about that rhyme. It's really a rhythm. Action. On Tuesday's brand new episode of Judge Rinder, a man wants compensation for a purloined iPad, and another man wants his vet bills paid after his dog was attacked by a greyhound. Which is odd, because normally dogs chase buses, not the other way around. She's very nervous. She cowers, look her tail down, straight back. They always muzzle their dog and then tells me great big porky pies when somebody then films them the next week and they're in the park without a muzzle. On Wednesday's brand new episode of Chalky Walky Doodah, the show that's just as much fun to watch as it is to say, the chocolatiers celebrate their passions and differences by creating two jaw-dropping original wedding cakes. Katie and Matt are to marry. They've decided against making their pigs page boy and bridesmaid, but they have asked Christine to design the cake around them. When you're choosing a pet, it's always a good idea to look at the mum and dad. Also on Wednesday's episode of The L Word, Tina throws a party and Shane helps Helena get a job. Is that why Tina's throwing the party? This is a surprise. Hey. Yeah, I changed my mind. Hello, baby. Bye. So where's my baby girl? On Thursday, we're watching back-to-back -back episodes of The Face of Furry Creek Season 1. This week, the contestants take on social media. A confused Deb becomes obsessed. Greg takes the challenge too far, and a contestant gets caught in the bush. I hope they mean that figuratively, not literally. I would love to erase any trace of CeCe Sickles' involvement by replacing that degenerate streetwalker in this competition. The point is, I was not selling heavy petting. It was only weed. On this week's Saturday Night Movie, we're watching the premiere of Root of Acceptance. This is the story of an aspiring film writer, Ryan Stark, who's having troubles deciding on a university to go to. Of course, her fears of leaving the predictability and comfort of high school aren't helping her at all. Like I actually thought that I'd be with my high school sweetheart forever. No, that's lame. Life isn't like that and I should have known better. Guess I was curious. It's what you're supposed to do, right? And finally, on Docs on Sunday, we're watching Coming Out to Class. Openly gay rapper Marcos Q-Boy Brito investigates the realities of coming out in Britain's schools. I'll make friends, meet new people, make friends, and then when it comes up, then I'll approach it from there. He's just far more happy. He's far more open about who he is, more like a person and less like a shadow of someone. I'm Richard Ryder, and until next week, that was This Week on Out TV. Toodles, poodles.